Next question is from Lorraine Fighting Fit. Since listening to you guys, I'm trying to cut down on cardio. I always do resistance training anyway, but how much cardio is enough for healthy heart, lungs, etc.? I don't want my cardio to affect my resistance training, but I want to do enough to keep healthy. All right, there's a lot to unpack with this with this particular question. So number one, uh, cardiovascular activity done appropriately is good for you. It's good for your health. So I don't want to give away the message that it's a waste of time or whatever. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good for you. Now, the question is about hearts and lungs and you know the, the benefits there. The truth is, studies actually show this, resistance training is just as beneficial for the heart as cardiovascular activity. Where cardio is superior to resistance training is in building stamina and endurance. If you want stamina and endurance, more stamina and endurance than you'll get through resistance training, you then you can add cardiovascular training. Now, that being said, for most people, you'll get plenty of, car- of endurance and stamina through resistance training, especially if you cut your, your rest periods short and you do supersets. But if you're somebody that wants more athlete levels of stamina and endurance, then go ahead and do the cardio. What's too much? Well, this is a very independent. This is very, very dependent on the individual. Uh, you know, what's too much for one person is enough for another, just like resistance training. So for most people, if your goal is just overall health, I would say, you know, 30 minutes a day of some kind of cardio is probably great. It's probably going to benefit your health. Well, here, here's the thing. It, training for health is one thing. Training for fat loss is another thing. And I think this is where this message uh, gets mixed up with us, like, you know, that people think that we're anti-cardio. Listen, if you are in a a healthy weight and you're happy where you are, body fat percentage, you don't feel you need to lose any more body fat, do as much cardio as you want. I mean, if you if you can get up every day and you enjoy going for a run every morning, by all means, there's that's very healthy and it'd be great. What we speak to, because the, like the number one thing that everybody wants to do is to lose body fat, it's a losing battle to go after it through cardio. Right. That is the message. So if you're, if you're at where you want to be and you've done it through resistance training and dieting and you got to the body type or size or body fat percentage that you want, do as much cardio as you like. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you en- if you enjoy doing it, do it every day. So long as it's appropriate, right? You don't overtrain <laughs> or overdo it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, I mean, why would you though? If you're just doing it for health purposes, do how much you enjoy. Right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. If you're doing if you're doing it for health purposes, you know, and you like to go for a half hour run or an hour run every day, then go for well, it. I, I like to just pr- you know promote that there's other options out there, and I think that uh, you know people like will hear that, so they'll just think to get on a treadmill and just walk or run and do the same repetitive thing over and over and over again. When you know it's actually going to be more beneficial beneficial for your body to move in a lot of different ways and to be more active overall. Uh, there's so many other uh, joints in your body that need to to be expressed and need to be moved. So that way we avoid pain in, and we avoid these arthritis and things that, that you know, happen as a result of this repetitive stress. We just lock ourselves in these positions. So that's why, you know, I just want to, you know, promote a little bit different message around cardio that, you know, there's there's other ways to to, to get the same result, but you just have to be more active uh, throughout. Yes. And, and I'm so glad you said that. The best form of cardio for most people is walking. And here's why. It's not because walking is superior for stamina or endurance or anything. It's because walking is the one skill that most people still possess, right? Most people still walk, so you can go for a walk and you're not going to have absolutely terrible biomechanics and whatever. Most people, this is the truth now, most people in modern societies don't have the skill of running. Sorry. Now, we evolved to run. Humans actually evolved to be amazing runners, but that does not mean that you can run well. Uh, if, if you stop running at any point in your life, if you haven't run every day forever, um, like most people, you're in your 20s or 30s and you're like, well, the last time I ran consistently was when I was you know, 10, just lacing up your jogging shoes, going for a run, it's misleading. You think it's easy. Oh, you just go for a run. It's not a big deal. Running is very technical. It's a very technical movement. And if you haven't done it in a long time, you don't run properly, especially if you run to fatigue. Now you're going to go outside and run till you're tired. You're going to run terribly. And this is why, by the way, studies will show this, the number one form of exercise that causes uh, chronic pain and injury is running. It's exactly what Justin was saying. That repetitive motion over and over again in which you don't do it well. So I'm so glad you brought that up. So walking is the best form of cardio for most people. And then Mm -hmm. if you want to do more intense forms, treat it like a skill. Don't treat it like a workout.